Hi, my name is Mike Fisher. I'm from the British Association of Anger Management. I'm uh, really here to talk to you about the Kardashians. And uh, I don't have a lot to, to say about them. However, uh, what I have to say, I think is kind of fundamental and really, really important. And uh, I think there's something really fantastic about that they're so publicly actually talking about the fact that they're going to anger management. Now, the great news around this is that it means that when somebody as popular and as famous as that particular family, one is recognized that they have anger management issues. And two is not only do they recognize they have anger management issues, but they're actually very comfortable talking about anger management and recognizing that actually their fan base and their audience uh, probably won't be judgmental and will probably find what they have to say really, really interesting. And I also guess that the advantage to being who they are means is what they do is they actually popularize um, anger management uh, and allowing it and giving it permission to go mainstream, which I think is really exciting. And considering I've been in this business for as many, many years as I have, you know, there's a lot of shame associated with anger and there's a lot of guilt associated with anger and there's a lot of embarrassment associated with anger. So there's something like an, a family like that who are such public figures and such major influences in the world, considering, you know, the amount of fans that they have, the amount of people that read the articles, watch the videos, etc., etc., buy their products, you know, really are probably encouraged by the fact that they recognize they have issues with anger and they're willing to do something about it.